Moving Average Crossover is a simple yet powerful trading strategy widely used by traders across all markets, from crypto to stocks. This strategy uses two moving averages with different lengths, one short and one long. The shorter moving average, which I have on my chart in blue, is usually a nine period and calculates the average price over the last nine candles, so it reacts more quickly to recent price changes. The longer moving average, shown in gray, is usually a 21 period and calculates the average over the last 21 candles, so it moves more slowly and reflects the broader trend. When the short MA crosses above the long MA, it means recent prices are rising faster than the longer-term trend, which can signal the start of an uptrend. On the other hand, when the short MA crosses below the long MA, it means recent prices are falling faster than the longer-term trend, which can be a sign that a downtrend is beginning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate trades using the moving average crossover strategy. But before we get to that, it's important to understand which timeframes and settings produce the best results. The most reliable way to do this is by running backtests. Backtesting lets us simulate trades using historical price data, giving us a clear picture of how the strategy would have performed in real market conditions. We'll backtest different settings of the strategy across multiple timeframes to see how it holds up under various market scenarios. Once we've identified the most effective setup, I'll show you how to automate your trades with it. I've already backtested this strategy on the entire year of 2024 using different timeframes and collected the results. For example, this one shows around a 36% win rate with a 20% overall loss, while another setup shows an 88% win rate and an 83% profit. But before we go over these results together, let me show you how you can backtest strategies like this yourself. So let me close these tabs and start from scratch. I'm on the Bitcoin chart on the one hour time frame, And as you can see, when you look at this strategy with a naked eye, it seems promising. Imagine buying when the short moving average crosses above the long moving average and selling when the short moving average crosses below the long one. Let's back test this simple setup together and see how this strategy performs on Bitcoin throughout 2024. So in the backtesting page, I choose the trading pair as Bitcoin and select the entire year of 2024 as the period. For the buy strategy, I select moving average crossover, set the time frame to one hour, and choose the condition where the short moving average crosses above the long moving average. For the sell strategy, I again select moving average crossover, set the time frame to one hour, and choose the condition where the short moving average crosses below the long moving average. By the way, all of these settings, such as the lengths or the type of moving average, are fully configurable, so you can test different setups to see what works best. And for risk management, let's set both the take profit and stop loss levels to 5% and run the backtest. As you can see, although this strategy looked promising on the chart, the results show that if we had used this setup throughout 2024, we would have ended up with around a 36% win rate and a total loss of about 20% of our capital. This strategy has a 36% max drawdown, which is quite high and indicates a significant decline from the highest point in the balance during the year. The equity curve shows a steady downward trend, meaning the account balance kept dropping over time. In the sell reason distribution chart, we can see that 62% of the trades were closed by our sell strategy at a loss, which is also a concerning number. And the monthly performance section doesn't look good either, with most months showing poor or negative results. Let's tweak the strategy and see how it performs on other time frames, like the 4 hour. Also, because we're now using a higher time frame, let's change the take profit to 10% and the stop loss to 15%. The reason I'm using a wider stop loss compared to the take profit is because I want to avoid getting stopped out by stop hunters. We have a video on that topic on our channel, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. And now, let's run the backtest again. It seems that this strategy works better on higher timeframes because higher timeframes tend to filter out market noise and reduce the number of false signals. 
on lower time frames, price movements can be more volatile and unpredictable, which often leads to early or inaccurate entries and exits. On the four hour time frame, this strategy had a 45% win rate, which is an improvement compared to the 36% we saw on the one hour. It also generated about 81% profit, whereas the previous setup resulted in a 20% loss. Additionally, the max drawdown dropped from 36% to 17%, showing a much more stable and less risky performance. In the sell reason distribution chart, we still see that 54% of the trades were closed at a loss due to our sell strategy, which was based on the short moving average crossing below the long moving average. However, the monthly performance looks much better this time, with more consistent results across different months and several months showing solid profits. For making this strategy even better, let's tweak the buy and sell strategy and use the Ichimoku cloud to filter out low quality trades. So for the buy strategy, I select Ichimoku cloud and set the time frame to a higher one, like the eight hour, and choose the condition where the price is above the cloud. This means the market is in a strong uptrend and we only wanna take crossover signals that align with the overall bullish momentum. And for the sell strategy, I'm again adding the Ichimoku cloud on the 8-hour time frame and setting the condition to price being below the cloud. This means the market is in a downtrend and we want to avoid holding positions when the overall trend is against us. Also, let's change the take profit to 5% and stop loss to 10%. With this simple tweak, let's rerun our backtest and see the results. As you see, our win rate is now 88%, with an overall profit of 83%. The maximum drawdown is just 7%, and only 5% of our sell signals resulted in a loss. The monthly performance is also much more consistent across the board. Although we've improved the strategy significantly, always remember that backtesting results are hypothetical, and there's no guarantee the future will behave like the past. Even though this setup looks great, we must be aware of overfitting which means designing a strategy that performs exceptionally well on historical data, but fails to work in real-time trading because it was too closely tailored to past price movements. So make sure not to overfit your backtests. Always run them across different market conditions to ensure the strategy is robust and not just tuned for a specific scenario. Also, keep in mind that a strategy that works well on Bitcoin might not perform the same way on other trading pairs like Ethereum so be aware of that as well. After you back-tested your strategy and found your preferred one, you can use this section to turn your strategy into an automated trading bot that runs in either demo or live mode. In demo mode, the platform creates a bot that trades using virtual funds and gives you access to detailed analytics. For instance, you'll be able to review the total number of trades, how many were wins or losses, the win rate, and the overall performance. In this case, we're focusing on the MA crossover, but you can build your own strategy, test it, and let it run in demo mode for a while to see how it behaves in real market conditions. In live mode, the bot connects directly to your crypto exchange and executes trades using real money. We'll start by launching it in demo mode, and I'll guide you through how to switch to live trading afterward. To get started, enter a name for your strategy and click save. Setting up the bot is simple and takes just three steps. First, select your exchange and the trading pair. I'm using Binance and Bitcoin for this example. You can also set up multiple bots if you want to run the strategy on different pairs. Next, define how much the bot should allocate per trade. You can choose a fixed amount, like 100 USDT, which stays the same no matter your wallet balance. Or you can go with a percentage-based option where the bot calculates the position size based on your available balance. In the final step, name your bot, choose demo or live mode, and decide whether to launch it right after setup. There's also an option to control how the bot behaves after opening a trade. By default, it disables itself after entering a position to avoid taking duplicate entries. But if you turn on auto reactivation, the bot will restart itself once the current trade closes. You can also enable Telegram notifications to receive real-time updates and detailed trade summaries directly in your Telegram. 
Once you click Save, your bot will begin monitoring the market based on your conditions. For this setup, it will open a position in demo mode using virtual funds when both of our buy conditions are met. That is, the price is above the Ichimoku cloud on the 8-hour time frame, while on the 4-hour time frame, the short-moving average crosses above the long-moving average. After a position is opened, you can view it in the Open Positions section. When the strategy's exit conditions are met, or if your stop loss or take profit is triggered, the bot will close the trade automatically. You'll then find all the details in the Closed Positions section, including stats like trade count, win rate, and total returns. Now that you know how to run this strategy in demo mode, let's take a look at how to go live. In the Exchanges menu, you can safely connect your exchange account using API keys. Every major platform supports this and provides settings to control exactly what the bot can do. To help you through this, we've added guides for each exchange showing how to generate API keys and apply the correct permissions. For safety, make sure your keys are restricted to trade only. This ensures the bot can place and manage trades, but not move or withdraw any funds. Once your exchange is connected, switching from demo to live is as easy as flipping a switch. From then on, your bot will place real orders on your exchange whenever the buy condition is met, following the rules and risk settings you've defined. And that's it. If you need help or have questions, feel free to submit a support ticket. You can also drop a comment below, and we'll get back to you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials on automated trading and strategy building. See you in the next video.